Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I'll be talking about how you can empower and control a bit more the experience that your content editors will have with CK editor, with the HTML editor. HTML editor has many toolbars, has many, many icons, many options, many features, which may overwhelm a regular content editor that doesn't does need or doesn't want to mess around with HTML or with advanced features. So I'm going to show you today how you can take responsibility of giving the best user experience to your content editors by taking away icons, options, toolbars that are not necessary for them to perform their jobs as content editors. Before I show you the DNN tip of the week, I want to pause for the cause here. I want to bring to your attention DeskPol. DeskPol is my organization, my company, where we support, we help people just like you with DNN websites that you may or may not need some extra help there. Maybe help troubleshooting certain problems that might be happening with your site. Maybe just entering content. Maybe you are implementing some SEO strategies on your site. Maybe you want to upgrade your DNN site. You want some tweaking done to the theme, to the skin, to the layout, to look and feel. Maybe you need some guidance to, you know, to select uh, a good module to do certain things that you want to do. We can help you on that as well. We can, we can help you as an advisor too. Maybe you want to connect with a, a vendor to, to do some coding for you, to do some programming, to do some custom module development for you. We can help you with that as well. Again, on, on desktop, we can help you a lot with various different aspects of uh, DNN for a very low cost monthly subscription. So again, reach out. Uh, you know me and that's my organization. That's my plug. Okay, so first let me describe what's the setup that I have here. So I have a DNN 911 running from my local environment. I have created a new role called Content Editors. And in that role, I have added a user called Ederson. So this user is in that role. And I have created also a new page called About Us. On the About Us page, if we go to the settings of this page, I have given permission to content editors to edit this page. So that user Ederson will have access to edit this page. I'm going to open the same site on another browser and I'm going to log in as that user. Okay, so I can see up there that I'm logged in. I'm going to go to About Us and because I have given added permission to this page, now I can see the persona bar. I'm going to go in edit mode and I'm going to go to see the editor, the CK editor toolbar that is available for this new group. Let's go to edit content. You see, it's a very, very bare bones toolbar. But what if I want to give to the editors the full toolbar set that comes with CK editor? What if I want to do that? So let's close this. Let's go to the other browser where we are logged in as super user. And I'm going to go to settings, site settings, site behavior, more. And then I'm going to click on open HTML editor manager. So from here, if we scroll down, we're going to see the section that is called toolbars. So I'm going to expand this. If you see, if you notice here, you have each and every row on the site and it shows which toolbar set is being assigned to that row. In case of administrators, they have full a full toolbar. In the case of content editors or any other new role that we may create, it comes by default and it sets to basic. So what we see right now is the basic toolbar. If I want to change the toolbar from con for content editors, I can just select full toolbar. I can scroll down here, click save. Yeah, so we have the green message at the top. So everything was saved here. Now, if I revert back to the other side, I'm just going to refresh the page. I'm going to go to the HTML editor again. 
And as you can see, we have now a full toolbar available for content editors as well. Now, what if I want to give a bare minimum set of tools, set of options on the toolbar? However, I may want to change it a little bit. So let's have a look at this. Let's go back here. And again, we have three pre-specified sets of toolbars. Now, what I want to do is I want to give content editors just the basic because I don't feel they need more than the basics here. I'm going to save this. However, I want to enhance a little bit this toolbar. So I'm going to go to the top here where it says custom toolbars. Here I can edit, I can make changes to any one of those toolbars. And I could even create a brand new toolbar as well. But I'm going to just you know, select basic. I'm going to edit this toolbar. And just for the sake of example, I'm going to add, you know, as you can see, you see on the toolbar groups, you see all options for this toolbar. So I'm just going to, for the sake of example, I'm just going to say, hey, I want the first option in my toolbar to be paste. So I can click on paste, I can drag, I can drop at the top, I can scroll all the way down, I can save this. And after it's saved, I can go back there, I can close this. Give it a refresh, added content. And now, as you can see, I have the basic toolbar, which used to be start on bolt. However, now I have also paste here. So this is how you can change any one of the toolbars and add any one of the options available on the available toolbar buttons. You can just change and you can change things around and you can create a brand new toolbar if you want. So this is it. This is how you can control which toolbar options will be displayed for, for a particular user role on DNN. You can control, you can keep it as tidy as you want or as wide, as open with as many options as you want. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, Subscribe.